and that is what's up man he goes by morachi he's right here he's literally right here in studio and that song is called Sella. and playing right here on bounce nation we are the latest most time show in 254 i go by feeling that is feeling gene on all socials and hang out with the one and only mr serving vibes mm -hmm. Can yeah, we in the building, fam. So my yard. Yeah, we in the building right now. Yeah, make sure you talk to us. Make sure you request any song that you wanna listen to. Make sure you ask any question that you wanna ask. Uh, right now to Morachi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I love one thing that you actually knew about Morachi before he got Yeah, to if you if you by the way, if you if you've been uh, around for the past few years. Mm -hmm. You've had me play the song. Yeah. 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 If you've been around for the past few years, yeah. you you know I've been playing the song. Right. Yeah. And we had introduced him, but I feel like we should go ahead and reintroduce him again. So Moraiti is basically a Nigerian and US best award-winning singer, songwriter, recording and performing artist and model as well. Can you just put our hands together and welcome him one more time on the show? That's what's up. All right. All right, so uh, let's get get started with uh, you coming to Kenya. Is this your first time in oh, Kenya? Oh yeah, the very first time. For real? Hell yeah. How are you finding it? The weather? Is the it weather too is humid? amazing. Yo, yeah? the first thing I talked about was the weather. You know, I was pretty concerned, but mm. I'm surprised. You're surprised. The weather. Beautiful is weather. Ah, amazing. Love it. Have you had time to try any food? Oh, a local food. Have you tried any? Yeah, mm -hmm. so I don't know the name though, but <laughs> it's some chicken and uh, some spice in it, ah. and some seasoning, you know, uh -huh. and 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 the the. Well, I think there's like a jollof or stuff like that. It's a Kenyan jollof or stuff like that. Oh, right? that should be pilau, probably. Pilau. Yeah. Chicken, yeah. Chicken, pilau. chicken, chicken. It was Even pilau, biryani. Chicken biryani. biryani. Yeah, it was, it was a big, boy, it was good though. It yeah, was good. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, we love it. We like that. And um, have you, did they teach you how to say hi, hello? Um, I, I don't think we we got to uh, to that you part yet. You haven't gotten there. Okay, so we'll teach you. Okay. So uh, it's basically how you say hi, but in slang. Okay. So unasema niage. You say niage. So, uh, so I ask you niage, and you say poor. So, so you respond by saying poor. So niage is basically hi. How so I'm gonna you? say poor. Uh, yeah, poor. Okay. So poor means good. Good. All right. So niage. Poor. Ah, that's more like it. So now we're there here. Now yeah. we can get started. I pour some liquor. <laughs> poor. Ah, you get it. You get it. Yeah. Now that we are acquainted, let's talk about that. Like I read somewhere. I don't know if it's true though. Like um, your dad was a preacher. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. So I was wondering, like, you getting into music and your dad being uh, like um a preacher, did it have any problem? Was he okay with you doing secular music when you're getting started? Um, at first. No, nah, he wasn't a fan, <laughs> you know, but um, I started changing my music. I started changing the mm -hmm. things that I say in the yeah. music. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would say today he's, he's actually one of my biggest supporters. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it, with time. <laughs> with time. <laughs> I, I, walk my way, I walk my way through. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So he I... actually gave me uh, mm -hmm. the scope. He actually, um, you know, he gave me uh the scope like hey now you're doing what you're supposed to do ah yeah you know that is dope but i know you also used to write music for other people while you were in school back in school is that what got you into singing or you by the time you're writing for other people you you already knew you wanted to sing to be honest i didn't want to be a musician i didn't want to have nothing to do with it <laughs> you know, i just i was okay writing yeah. poems and songs and stuff like that but mm -hmm. You know, like when your teachers and then your fellow colleagues, you know, mm -hmm. keep pushing you like, hey, you know, you've helped us win a lot of um, mm -hmm. uh, school competitions, you know, musical uh, school competitions. Why don't you just... And mm -hmm. one day I went in the studio with my best friend. He booked the six hour studio section and he couldn't do anything with the, with the, with the time. Yeah. So I had, to, I, I had to go help him out, you know. And in less than three minutes, I got every. And since that day, I just. You knew, you knew you were right. talented like that. That's awesome. But then you also became famous at such an early age. You had a mega hit, uh, Hapuya Like That. I that was like back that. in 2007. That's right. Yeah. So, how did you deal with that? I mean, like fame coming to you at such an early age, how did you handle that? 
Um, so number one, I, I didn't expect the fame, right? Yeah. Uh, I just I just wanted to make, you know, great music mm. with great music video. Mm. One problem we had in Nigeria back then was the content, the, the quality. Mm. The quality of the music videos in Nigeria was not solid back then, you know. So I was one of those who, I was actually known for that dope video production. That was one yeah. of the things that blew me up and, you know, and yeah, you know. And your song actually um, held a record. I don't know if it still is the most played video on MTV. Back um, then? Back then. Back then, yeah, when that, we're, we're talking about when MTV just launched in mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. That was the highest played video in the history of MTV base. Mm -hmm. so happier like that, yeah. Yeah, and I know when, when, when you become famous at such an early age, sometimes you think like you're better than everybody else and all that, the fame gets to your head. No, Did you experience no, that? No, <laughs> no, no, you're just no, cool I, with that. No, the fame didn't get into my head. Yeah. You know, um, I think I'll say the only problem is mm -hmm. people misunderstand, uh, mis misunderstand um, uh, when, when you courageous, you know, mm -hmm. when you when you confident and bold, mm -hmm. people, you know, sometimes see it the other way. Yeah. You know, but I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. If you have a problem not being confident, that's, <laughs> that's your you. problem. <laughs> Why do I have to entertain that? Like, how does that? Th that's not me, bro. Yeah. That's that's so, you. People so have I, to work on their insecurities. Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's just that's all. Yeah. You know? But right. back then I didn't I didn't have anything like oh get let it get to your head because mm. I came from a, a, a pretty you know well-to-do family you know I was I was raised properly. Yeah, and your parents were even in Europe at the time. Um, no, I, I, so at the time I started doing music. My mom, my mother was you know back back in Nigeria, oh, but my father was oh, away. Oh. All right, now, and uh, that was back in 2007. Now you're here, it's 2023. You're still releasing mega hits. Your songs are getting up to a million views and even more than a million. So what do you say keeps you going? Because that is like a lot of consistency. How have you remained so, you know, consistent over the years? Passion. Yeah. Passion. Mm -hmm. Having passion for, for what, what I do. you do. Having true love for what I do not doing it for the money or not doing it for this or not doing just doing it because that's my therapy that's that's my run to that's what i go to to uh feel good to feel great yeah. when you throw a lot of bad stones or whatever i gotta go back to the music i gotta go write it down you get what i'm saying and make meaningful things out of that yeah so, so you say like music is super therapeutic for you oh like yes when you're having a bad day you just sit down it's, and it's you music write and you Every, er, like everything is music wow that is fantastic. Everything is music. I go back to the same music mm -hmm. because, quite frankly speaking, music saved my life. Yeah. Honestly, it, it did. I didn't know how to laugh or smile. I, you, you tell me to smile now. I can smile. <laughs> music taught me how to yeah. smile because I didn't have a very happy childhood mm. and stuff like that. I had a pretty rough time, mm. you know, uh, but... I never let the media know that side about me. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because I know people like pity. Oh, let's pity him. And yeah. no, I don't want you to pity, have pity on me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I had a rough life, just like every other him. person. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's cool. I would rather use my story to heal people, like to let you know, hey, don't let nobody tell you you can't do that. I did it. You know what I'm saying? But not, ah, uh, no, no, not pity. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. we get that. I think, I think we get that. And for someone who's watching and they've probably never heard your music before, so right. they just listened to it right here, maybe for the first time, or they're yet to listen, because you'll have to perform for us again maybe okay. one more time. All right. So how would you describe, describe your music for someone listening for the first time? Um, I don't like to put my music in the box. Mm. Um, I, I would say that my music then and now is, is two different things. I talk about more relatable things now, things that yes. people go through and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know. There's definitely more melody and, and you know, uh, professional touch to, you know, vocals and stuff like that. So, but the kind of music I make right now, I make happy and inspiring music. That's the two things I, I, can, I can say right now. Happy and, and inspiring. inspiring music anything outside of that count me out I'm not making it <laughs> because that's the emotion yeah. that I want to give to people mm -hmm. I want to make them happy 
and, and although inspire them. happiness is relative though mm -hmm. you get yeah. what i'm saying yeah. but you can be happy listening to a tune hey can you play that song again i actually like it like to trigger the good emotion mm -hmm. in you you get what i'm saying oh man I, I feel inspired i like what that guy said that's the kind of music i make right now mm -hmm. you can't see me make music that makes no yeah Meaning. Right, I get that. And also, um, I want to talk about like you uh, being in the States and Nigeria and now you're in Kenya. Is there a way any of the scenes relate? Do they relate in any way? Different <laughs> scenes, Nigeria, <laughs> you know, US, here. Do you see any similarities, any differences? Maybe we can talk about that. Okay, so leaving the States right now, I decided that, you know, there's something I have been wanting to do all my life. So I didn't have the opportunity to do that because obviously I need visa to travel the world. I'm a US citizen now, so dual citizenship, Nigerian American. Um, so I, I first of all started from Nigeria. I went to Nigeria, I go push the new record and then to South Africa, go push the new record. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm in Kenya, yeah, pushing the record. Yeah. Next, I might be in Uganda, yeah, pushing the record. And after that, I might just be in Tanzania, pushing the record. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this is my flow. This is the vibe. This that's how I'm going. But mm -hmm. I'm starting with Africa first because okay. it's the motherland. Yeah. I was born in Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm starting the tour. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. And Africa is taking over. It's like the and wave right now. I have a lot of Kenyan fans, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I came into the studio knowing that I have fans. And then the DJ, him, also made me understand like, yo, He's you, been ha you had a record. <laughs> you had a whole record that was loved out here. And I'm like, really? You did not even know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Part no of, idea. Yeah, part of the part of the uh, job I do. Let me describe myself. Uh, part of the job I do is to educate people through new music. Uh, right. And and I had to, I have to let you know that this is new music and it's good music. Right. So you have to listen to me. <laughs> right. Yeah. For you to understand good music and new music, you you have to you have to listen to yeah. me. He right. plays so that, stuff that, you've never heard before sometimes. Yeah. He likes to just like sample music. I like to flex whatever. that. Too. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 And uh, last year you released Stella after a while. And I, I really wanted to know about Stella. Was it inspired by a true story? Because I was just, I, I listened to it and I was like, all right, so you are talking about this chick who's playing hard to get. Okay. Like, you know. Okay, well, you know, first like, of all, Stella, mm -hmm. Stella is, uh, is associated with the Bible, you know. Yeah. Is the book of Sam. It's on and on and on and on and on, over and over and over and over again. Stella, 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 Stella. So, this is the vibe, this is the emotion, this is what I'm feeling for this lady. It's like that, it's repeated, you know, it's on and on and on and on, the feeling is constant. That's the seller. And as for the record, what inspired the record? Simply the beat. The beat. The beat, yeah. Yeah, love it. A good beat leads to a good song. Right. We love it. So uh, do you have any projects or any collabs that you're currently working on that we need to know about? Um, yeah, there's a, um, there's a Atlantic record um, artist, uh, he, he goes by the name Simba, mm -hmm. the real Simba from California. Uh, we have a, a, a big major collaboration going on, so that's in Nigeria. So after Kenya, I have to be back to mm -hmm. Nigeria for that. And yeah. you know, there's a 10 state uh, tour in the US as well too. So um, yeah, hopefully. Um, we do that tour together with the collaboration as well. And yeah, I have uh, a couple of other acts that I'm, you know, collaborating with. Although uh, we're in discussion with, you know, a few, but I don't really like, you know, like talking about, you know, projects until they're, you know, finalized. Oh, and that's stuff okay. Like that. Yeah, but they might get jinxed. But they're yeah. not, not really jinxed, you mm -hmm. know. I wouldn't say jinx, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, they're things that happen, unforeseen things that happen, and mm -hmm. then a record is not able to, you know, be out again. You yeah. get what I'm saying? But <laughs> on a pipeline, yes, there's some collaborations. Yeah. 
All right, so um, as we wind up, do you have uh, anything happening in Kenya that we should know about? Maybe if you want like your fans to turn up for, do you, do you have anywhere um, you'll be performing? The, like, there's like, like there's a lot, like uh, there's a lot, there's a couple of uh, uh, club, uh, you know, club gigs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then majorly the rest of them is just promotion, you know, I'm yeah. just, you know, putting more of myself you right. know, out here, you get what I'm saying? Because for a while I've been doing this thing from a way, so now I'm oh. like, I'm, I'm coming closer yeah. like, hey, you, you yeah. have not met me before. You've heard my record, or you've probably seen me on Instagram and stuff like that. But hey, now this is me. Hey, come take a picture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That kind of stuff. That's amazing. We love it. All right. So as we wind up, we're literally winding up uh, because of time. I have this. Th I just have like more like quick fire questions, okay. but they're not like really quick fire. So uh, let's just do it uh, quickly, right? So uh, if you want to approach a girl, what's your biggest speak up line? to use because I know you are ladies man somehow if you're I'm a model so if you are to approach a girl what's your best pickup line okay first I don't I don't work with pickup lines I work mm -hmm. with the energy I work with the vibe if ah. your vibe is off already I'm not saying hello to you <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying hello to you you and I have no business no matter how pretty you are the energy it. is off already it's thrown me off I don't want to know you and stuff like that you get what I'm saying so, <laughs> so it's, energy. it's the energy first before ah. the pickup line all right we got it so she's a 10 like you know on a scale of 1 to 10 okay. so she's like 10 being like the hottest so she's a 10 but can't cook or clean what's her new rating wow she's a 10 mm -hmm. but, but she, she can't cook, cook or clean. and she can't clean yeah what's her new rating okay well if if her mom didn't teach her that then i don't think i can mm -hmm. so you can't cook you can't clean and you can't clean so that that means you're dirty so, I, I, I give you a good two. She's a two. <laughs> yeah, I give you two. From ten to two. Oh, hell yeah. And the two right. is just because you're pretty, in it? All right. <laughs> Below average. <laughs> Below average, that's right. All right, next word. She's a ten, but she only has guy friends. What's her new rating? She's a ten. And she only has guy friends. Mm -hmm. the, there might be a reason for that. So I, I can't conclude or judge because maybe the female friends are not good for her mm -hmm. they they be snitching and doing all sorts of things to her so she can confide more in men i she's think I, can, I think i can change that so she's a 10. All no right. no not not only no should i say a 10 because the you know it could it could flip both ways though you know so let me say i'll give her a seven until i can turn out to a 10. all right seven and two all right one last one She's a 10, but she's taller than you. What's her new rating? It's okay for her to be taller than me. I don't ah, have a problem with that. You don't mind? That. Ah, so she's still a 10. If she's taller than him, she's yeah, still a 10. Yeah, she's, she's still right. a 10. Thank you so much for coming through. You have to perform for us the latest one, Echo Wengele. Echo Wengele. Help us with the pronunciation too. Echo Wengele. Echo Wengele. So that means Lagos. Ah. Oh. So Echo means Lagos. Oh. Okay. So Wengele is just like inhaling Echo. like ah. Echo Wengele. Oh, got it. Like All okay, right. okay, like what? Well, okay, say so you say Kenya now. Yeah. What do you used to hail Kenya? Um, like the Great Kenya or what? Uh, Yo, come on, guys, help me, man. <laughs> Yo, we can, I, we can, you can, we, can we use the, the, the famous? The, no, no, you say it in Kenyan language. Something Kenya. I think we, 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 we use Hakuna Matata to. to Hakuna right. Matata yeah. Kenya. Yes. Hakuna Matata. No, I don't, right. I don't, I don't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I'm so, trying to trick so you. We're really, we're really, really pressed for time. We okay. have something that is coming in. So thank you so much for coming through. Your social media, this uh, Morachi. Uh, social media is Morachi and then official. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Morachi official. All right. You know, yeah, so definitely. So, thank you so much for making time. Thank, thank you, you guys so, much so much to your team. Thank for you coming guys so much. As well. thank, you, thank, thank you so you. much for coming. Anytime thank you're in Kenya, this is home, right? This All is right, home. So, Eko Wengele. Mm. All right. So, Performing let's go. the brand new song. Right. Oh, okay. Let's go. Cool.